Production and development. Africa's petroleum reserves are abundant. This much we know. But only a fraction of commercial discoveries get developed. Why is that? For starters, the cost of bringing a discovery to production in Africa is high. Of the eight top African discoveries in 2015, seven were offshore and five were in deep or ultra-deep water. For the top nine discoveries in Africa in the first half of 2016, eight were in deep or ultra-deep water. Fluctuating oil prices, as low as $28 per barrel in early 2016, spelled big problems for deep water projects around the world. More than 80% of deep and ultra-deep water projects are uneconomical, even at $60 per barrel. Break-even prices for deep water projects in Africa are higher than in other regions. The Gulf of Mexico averages $70 per barrel and Brazil $65 per barrel. West African projects break even at $75 per barrel. When the price is not right, projects are put on hold and final investment decisions have to wait. Upstream capital investment in Sub-Saharan Africa has been cut by $100 billion over the next five years, largely because of lower spending in offshore Nigeria and Angola. The outcome? Massive production declines. Fiscal regimes also play a role. Average government take for deep water projects is 61% in Africa versus 57% in other parts of the world. In Angola, the government's share can reach 100% of gross oil field profits when you get as low as $40 per barrel. At $60, government take is nearly 90%. African nations compete with jurisdictions across the world for the same limited pool of capital. Competition is even stiffer when you factor security, political stability and consistency of regulations. Corruption and a lack of skilled labour take their toll, adding to the costs of doing business. Finally, the commerciality of discoveries, no matter their size, depends on access to markets. Africa's limited infrastructure poses serious obstacles. It is difficult to quantify the impact these criteria have on costs, but they certainly influence a company's ability to invest, develop and produce. Nevertheless, with OPEC's deal to limit output and prices stable in the first months of 2017, the future looks brighter. If the worst of the bust is over, 2017 will be the year of recovery. Producers and project developers know the resources are in place. If the price and conditions are right, the capital will follow.